Welcome back to the Bahamian Mathematics YouTube channel. Today we look at writing probability with dice and cards. We will see how to write these probabilities properly with each one of these experiments. Let's take a look. In a previous video we mentioned that probabilities written between the numbers 0 and 1 are between 0% and 100%. And we showed a number line that went from 0 to 1. And we said that in the middle is a half, Zero is considered impossible. A probability of zero means that event is impossible. A probability of one means that event is certain to happen, and everything else falls in between zero and one. We have fractions in between, and we have percentages that we can write between zero and 100 as well. In the middle, at a half, we call that an even chance. And between impossible and even chance, something is unlikely to happen, like a one in six chance of throwing a die. And between even chance and certainty, we say something is likely, for example, a 4 and 5 chance. Let's look first at dice. Die is the singular form of dice. Sometimes we say one dice, but it's one die, two dice. One die, two dice, die is the singular, and dice is the plural. And let's look at the faces of a die. There are six sides on each die. The numbers 1 to 6 appear once each. So here's the number 1, the number 2, 3, 4, 5, and here's how 6 looks. And we can determine the different types of numbers on the die. In this case, even numbers. The even numbers are 2, 4, and 6. And so there are three even numbers on a die, and here they are, 2, 4, and 6. We can look at the amount of odd numbers on a die. And the odd numbers are 1, 3, and 5. There are three of those on a die. And here they are, the numbers 1, 3, and 5. They are the odd numbers on a die. What about the prime numbers that exist on a die? The prime numbers on the die are 2, 3, and 5. 1 is not a prime number, remember that. And so in this case, there are three prime numbers, 2, 3, and 5. And so when we write probability as a fraction, we ask ourselves, what is the probability that you will roll a 4 on a fair die? And from a previous video, we said that the probability of an event happening, the formula is the number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes. And so in this case, the probability of rolling a 4 is equal to how many faces have the number 4? There is only one face that has the number 4, and so we write 1, divided by how many total faces are there? Well, there are 6 faces on a die. So the probability of getting a 4 is 1 out of 6. Written as a decimal is 0 0.1666. Written as a percentage, 16.6%. And as words, there's a 1 in 6 chance that you will roll a 4. So let's look at the faces of the die one by one. To roll a 1, there is a 1 in 6 chance of that happening. As a decimal, 0 0.1666. As a fraction, 16.6. Or in words, one, a 1 in 6 chance of that happening. Let's look at if we roll the number 2. We know there's only 1, 2 on the die. And again, the probability of getting that is also 1 over 6. The decimal, the percent, the words are all the same. Rolling a 3. There was only 1, 3 on the die out of 6. And so the probability of rolling a 3 is 1 out of 6. And by now you can see a trend happening. The probability of rolling a 4 is 1 out of 6. The probability of rolling a 5, 1 out of 6. There's only one 5 on the die. The probability of rolling a 6, yes, 1 out of 6. It's the same as all of the above. So you can see that the chance of getting any of the numbers on a die are all the same. 1 out of 6. There's a 1 in 6 chance that you will roll one of the numbers on the die. And so what is the probability that you will roll an even number on a fair die? We looked at even numbers in a previous slide. How many even numbers are there? The numbers 2, 4, and 6 are even, and so that is 3. How many total faces are there? 6. So the probability of getting an even number is 3 out of 6, or 0.5, 50%. There's a 3 in 6 chance that you will get an even number when you roll it. What's the probability that you will roll an odd number? Probability of odd is equal to how many faces of an odd number? The 1, the 3, and the 5 are odd, so that's three numbers. 
out of a total of 6. Again, 3 out of 6, or 0 0.5, there's a 50% chance, a 3 in 6 chance, that you will roll an odd number. What about a prime number? What is the chance that you will roll a prime number? How many prime numbers are there on the die? The 2, the 3, and the 5 are prime, and that makes 3 numbers out of 6. And again, we have a 50% chance of rolling a prime number. What about a number less than 3? How many numbers are there on the die that are less than 3? Let's write the numbers 1 through 6. The numbers less than 3, that means not 3, not 4, not 5, not 6, less than 3, 1 and 2. And so that makes two numbers that are less than 3 out of a total of 6, giving us a probability of 2 out of 6, or 0 0.333 or 33.3%, there's a 2 in 6 chance that will happen. What about the probability of rolling a number more than 6 on a fair die? Well, we ask ourselves, how many faces have a number greater than 6? And we look at the die and we see the only numbers on the die are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. None of those are greater than 6. And so, it is a 0 out of 6 chance that we will roll a number more than 6 on a fair die. That makes that impossible. 0 out of 6, 0%, no chance. This is impossible to roll a number more than 6 on a die because the only numbers on the die are 1 through 6. Now let's take a look at a regular deck of cards. A regular deck of cards contains four suits. They are hearts, diamonds, spades, and clubs. In each suit, there are 13 cards. They range from the ace, and then they start at 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, a jack, denoted by J, a queen, denoted by Q, and a king, denoted by K. If you count all of those, there are 13 cards. So we have 13 hearts, 13 diamonds, 13 spades, and 13 clubs. They each go from ace, then from 2 all the way up to 10, and then jack, queen, and king. Sometimes the ace is known as a 1. There are four of the same card in the deck. And so here are the four aces, for example. Here are four fives. The five of hearts, five of diamonds, five of spades, five of clubs. There are four jacks. Here they are. There are four kings in the deck. Here they are. Let's look, for example, at how many red kings there are. Well, we can see that there are the king of hearts and the king of diamonds. There are two red kings. Let's look at the black jacks. Here are the two black jacks. Jack of spades, jack of clubs. There are 12 face cards. Now, sometimes people get this confused because they count ace as a face card. In this case, there are no faces on the aces. And so we don't call them face cards. The face cards are the cards with an actual person or face on them. In this case, we can see here are the face cards. There are three hearts, three diamonds, three clubs, three spades. That makes 12 face cards in the deck. How many red cards are there? Well, we know there's 13 hearts and 13 diamonds. 13 and 13 is 26. There's 26 red cards. How many black cards are there? Well. There are 13 spades and 13 clubs. That makes 13 plus 13 is 26 black cards. All of that was important because when we talk about probability using cards, we're going to need to know the facts about what exists in the deck. So let's take a last look at the cards before we start some problems involving finding probability with cards. What is the probability of choosing from a deck, a king from a deck of cards. So we write this as P brackets king equals. We ask how many kings are there in the deck? Well, we remember from the previous slide there are four kings, the king of hearts, diamonds, spades, and clubs. There are four of them. And so we put four out of how many cards are there in the deck? By now we have figured out it's 52. And so our answer is 4 out of 52. If you wrote that as a decimal, it would be 0 0.076. And as a percentage, 7.6%, or 4 in 52 chance of choosing a king. 
Let's look at something else. What would be the probability of choosing a red queen from a deck of cards? Well, we know there are four queens, but how many red queens are there? There's the queen of hearts and the queen of diamonds. That's two. And so there's a two out of 52 chance that that will happen. As a decimal and as a percentage, two in 52 chance of getting a red queen when we choose a card from a deck. What would be the probability of choosing a face card? Do you remember what we said about face cards? How many face cards are there? There are 12. Out of 52, the chance of choosing a face card from a deck is 12 out of 52, or 23%. There's a 12 in 52 chance that that will happen. What about the probability of choosing the Eight of Hearts from a deck of cards? We ask, how many Eight of Hearts are there in the deck? Well, there's one Eight of Hearts out of a total of 52. And so our probability is 1 out of 52, making it a 1.9% chance, which is very unlikely that you would choose that card if you went to choose a card. 1 in 52 chance of choosing the Eight of Hearts. What about choosing a spade from the deck of cards? Do you remember how many spades there were in the deck? Yes, there were 13 spades out of a possible 52 in total. That makes 13 out of 52. If we reduce that, we would come out to 1 over 4, which works out to 0.25 or 25%. There's a 13 in 52 chance, which works out to a quarter when you reduce it. There's a 1 in 4 chance of choosing a spade. Before we go on to our quiz, make sure to subscribe, like, and share to this channel to see more videos just like this one. And now it's quiz time. What is the probability that you will select a red 10 from a deck of cards? Time's up. The answer, as you can see on the screen, is 2 out of 52. The 10 of hearts and the 10 of diamonds, they're both red. 2 out of 52. Number 2. What is the probability that you will select a black face card, not aces, from a deck? Time's up. On the screen you see Jack Queen King of Spades, Jack Queen King of Clubs. That's six face cards that are black, which makes the answer six out of 52. Question three. What is the probability that you will select a diamond from a deck? Time's up. How many diamonds are there? There are 13 out of 52, and that is your answer. Number four. What is the probability that you landed on a whole number when rolling a die? You have five seconds. Time's up. You need to know what whole number is. How many whole numbers are on a die? They're all whole numbers. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And so your answer is six out of six, which equals one, which is 100%, is 100% certainty that you will land on a whole number when you roll a die. Last question. What is the probability that you will select a black card from a deck? Time's up. As you can see on the screen, the black cards are spades and clubs. There are 13 of each. 13 plus 13 is 26 out of 52, and that is your answer. And now you've solved the mystery behind using probability with dice and cards. Well done.